So I wanted to make a follow up video to my first video, which uh, talked about this vocal technique, but I feel like there's more I can add to it. Um, and this is how I explain it to people nowadays, now that I know a little bit more about um, the mechanics of it. Uh, I'm not an expert. Uh, and remember, if your voice gets tired or you know, if something hurts, then stop. Give it, give it a while to like rest up, okay? Because you don't want to like mess up your voice. I'm not like an expert or anything. Um, so in general, you want to talk right here in your trachea, which is at the very, very bottom of your vocal tract. So take your take your finger, put it on your sternum, and go up until you can't feel the bone anymore, where um, and you feel the the muscles and the ligaments vibrating. Okay, this down here is where you want to talk. Okay, it's where your voice wants to come out. Uh, it's, it's where your voice wants to be like seated, where all that resonance wants to be centered. This is where it is, okay? Um, so if you watch the first video, you know about the, the Adam's apple thing. And the Adam's apple, um, your thyroid cartilage needs to go up and then back. Uh, a lot of people talk about raising the, the Adam's apple. It's only going to change your voice if you actually pull it back in and do this like golem voice. And then you, what you want to do is you want to do a vocal fry uh, to get you to resonate in the right spot and then you lighten up on the vocal fry and you should be doing it right. Um, that was the 10 second explanation. So from the top, you want to straighten out your posture because if you hunch forward like this, nothing's going to happen. You're going to sound like this and it'll be awful. Okay. So what I tell people to do, um, it's what my singing teacher told me to do is, uh, take string, put it on the very, very top of your head skull, and then pretend you're being <sighs> hanging down from it. Like, like a, like a doll or a puppet. Okay. So your head straight up and down your spine straight up and down with gravity. Okay. Your shoulders back. Um, Okay, because that this is gonna like prevent you from like putting stress on your neck anywhere, um, which will change how your voice sounds. Okay, so we're going to raise the the Adam's apple, which is um, something that singers do a lot. It's larynx control, but basically we're just gonna like swallow and like try to keep it up. Okay, you're gonna just like freeze everything. You won't be able to breathe usually, but it's okay because we're only keeping there for like a second before we pull it back in. Suck it into your neck. See, it disappeared. Okay. And how you do that is after you raise it up, you pull it back in with the muscles that lead from your Adam's apple, your thyroid cartilage to basically like behind your ears and at the base of your skull. It's right here. These muscles at the very top need to be engaged. And you do that um, usually subconsciously, but the way we're going to trick you into doing it is by imagining sucking on like a really sour candy or a sour lemon or something really salty or bitter. When you make this really like disgusted face, like, Ooh, that was not good. You know, your, your throat kind of like pulls back to like kind of prevent you from swallowing anything. This, this is like the, how to engage those muscles. And the problem is though, is you kind of have to raise your soft palate, you know, you got to pull your throat back a little bit more so you can breathe. And the, the sound that you end up with at that point is going to be like what I call like a golem voice. So up and then back. And then it's going to be like, this It's going to be like, whoa, it is not like a female voice yet. Okay. Uh, it's like, it's like a troll or something, but it's very, very, very tight. Okay. Cause what you're doing is you're still talking up here. Which, um, the next half of it is to get you to talk and resonate down here. So with it up, up high. Okay. We're going to do a vocal fry. Now vocal fry is this thing that, you know, you, you might hear American females do. Uh, it's this like verbal tick they have where it's like, Oh my God, this is the worst. Um, it's that croaky frog-like sound that you get 
when your voice bottoms out and your vocal flaps hit each other and that's what creates that uh, that the the ring you know girl voice um so the reason why you want to do that is not because vocal fry makes your voice sound feminine it's because when you bottom out your voice like that you end up resonating right here is which is where you want to be okay you want to resonate at the bottom and as much as you can in going to your chest and stay away from your head um so you go into like the tight golem voice right and then you're gonna do like a robot like a uh, 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 and then you should feel where you're talking go from from up here kind of like sink down to down here if you can feel that you know you're kind of doing it right uh, you then as, as you're doing the vocal fry okay you just kind of lighten up on the flapping you keep everything else the same uh you but all you do is just get rid of the flapping you just lighten up a little bit okay you don't necessarily have to raise the pitch of your voice or anything um and then as you line up uh you should be resonating in the right spot and it should still be kind of tight up here uh and if you, it's very very close to that natural sounding female voice you want it's just going to take a little bit of trial and error what i tell people is to imagine like the cutest like like the ideal female voice you want to have and if you can do that and put a little bit like emphasis and project a little bit um you should be able to find that spot where it kind of wants to stay and it won't sound all that much different from uh your your guy voice okay um the the pitches don't need to be higher it's just a little bit of change in the resonance is is going from this this kind of like full-bodied male resonance to this which is just um it's pretty much the same just with less resonance okay and um how how you know you're doing it right is if you can feel the resonance at your trachea and up here right above your adam's apple where you can feel more ligaments and muscles you want that to vibrate less okay and to get like to calibrate you know i, I think i touched on this in the last video you uh do a normal baseline guy voice okay at a pitch where you're you're not uh pushing your voice down you're not pulling it up high just like whatever is like the zero amount of effort okay zero amount of muscle control and if you feel your voice at those spots you should feel it kind of just like vibrate almost equally okay and then if you go into falsetto you'll feel both of these spots uh vibrate really like lightly like tinny uh, really really quick because at that point you're um stretching your vocal folds so tight that they're they're not even like touching anymore um they there isn't like any bits of it that are touching you know so your your vocal folds are normally like this when you talk okay but when you do a falsetto you pull them so tight that you know they just completely don't touch anymore which is why you can't project or you're limited to a certain range of pitches when you're doing a falsetto. Um, don't quote me on that. Uh, so you can feel the difference in the resonance. Also, the, the other way I, I usually use to tell if people can do this technique properly is if you can go into a vocal fry and come back to like a normal voice. And if you can go into a head voice and then if you can go into a falsetto and then you can switch between all these registers um that's usually like the hallmark of what what i think is like a good female voice if you can go from like a normal like comfortable like female voice um that's like 
probably going to be lower in pitch than like your average female voice, but just a little bit. Um, and then you can go like down into like a vocal fry and just be like super duper lazy. Uh, and then you can go up and then you can go up into like a head voice and then you can like just keep it up there. And then you can go into like a super like, oh my God, I'm so excited. A falsetto like this. And then it's, it's really cool. Um, because you should, you should sound, um, like natural in, in all those registers. And if you can do that, then I think your voice is probably gonna be pretty convincing. Um, and yes, there is more to female voice than just the resonance of your voice, but I think this is the place you have to start. Uh, I'll make another video about, um, more of the gender presentation side of female voice later. But for now, yeah, Adam's up, up and back just to get some tightness. As you practice and you, these muscles get more developed and more used to controlling your voice, uh, the tightness can go away. Um, you don't have to work so hard up here if you're resonating properly down here. This is kind of just like a beginner, like it's the shortcut, okay? Um, and I think why a lot of people had trouble with the, the previous methods because they weren't resonating in the right spot, which is what the second half, the, the vocal fry is supposed to do. You can also gargle, but I, I think that'll just like put your throat way too far back. Um, but it does have that like same like bottoming out effect. Um, going, uh, getting, getting you to talk here is the most important thing. Okay. Um, and remember, just take it easy on your voice. These muscles you haven't used a lot. It's going to feel really, really tiresome, like to do this for like the first few days, first week. Um, just take it a little bit at a time. Um, and like I always say, uh, you know, drink water, record yourself so you can hear it. Uh, record yourself while you're trying to get in here, because if you manage to get it, um, as you hear yourself do it later, you're going to be able to find that spot a much more easily. Okay. You're making mile posts for yourself to guide yourself in the future. Okay. Um, so that was a really quick rundown on how to do female resonance without going into your head voice. Uh, remember to do this at like a comfortable pitch for you. Uh, if you're in your head voice already, if it, if it feels like you're pushing on your nose and your, your sinuses and your temples, then you're probably talking way too high in your high head voice or you're, you know, the pitch of your voice is just where you talk is high. Um, I would say lower the pitch until it's like zero effort. Okay. This is the zero effort, um, the baseline pitch. And this is where you want to be doing most of this. Cause remember, it's not about the pitch of your voice. Okay. The pitch of your voice comes afterwards. This is just the resonance and where and how you're resonating. Okay. So one more time, Adam's apple up. We're going to hold it up after a swallow, suck it in with an early sour lemon. Okay. And then we're going to do drop the resonating spot down with the vocal rye. Okay. We're going to bottom out our voice. And then as we do that, we're just going to lighten up a little bit. We're going we're gonna to lighten up a little bit. Okay. And then just stop, keep, keep everything the same. Just less, less of that flapping, less of that croaking. Okay. And then as, as, as the voice kind of becomes human again, we're going to just make the final leap. We're going to project a little bit more, uh, keep pushing down, uh, against this finger, uh, because we want to use these muscles and then you should be able to make the leap to making a pretty convincingly female sounding voice. Okay. Um, your, uh, it will take some trial and error. Uh, but this is the best advice I can give you right now. And I wish you luck and I'll make another video in the future. Okay. Thank you. Bye.